Hey everybody, welcome to Winley Farms. Or uh, welcome back, I should say, to some people. So, sprayers in the shop. Um, we've got Jenner Ag coming down. Uh, they're gonna try to figure out what we got going on. Um, in some of my previous videos when I was spraying, I've had a lot of issues with the boom. Not auto unfolding, and when it gets unfolded manually, uh, the boom just completely swings way back, both of them. And uh, so I'm not sure exactly what they said they were going to work on, but I think it has something to do with all these bushings here uh, on the back of the boom section where it meets in the middle. I think they're going to start taking off these boom. I think they got to take the boom completely off to do this job. So I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what they come up with. Hopefully they get it figured out and uh, Whenever they get here and start doing this project, I'll uh, see what I can do and see if I can make this entertaining or not. So, I think this is full of tempo. I'm gonna have to call dad and double check, but I gotta spray for some bugs. So, I need to take this down to our place and first spray around the house there and then spray around the shop here. <laughs> Very exciting stuff going on here. This uh, tank hose is so thin and flimsy that every time it goes down like this, it just puts a kink in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run around this shed and get all these bugs killed and find something else to do. Well, Jenners haven't showed up yet. I'm not sure exactly what time they were supposed to be here. They really never set a specific time. Uh, but I'm just kind of doing some odds and ends until they get here. So I just loaded up uh, the last pro box we had in the shop. Had a little bit of corn left, so I just dumped it all out. And I'll take it back to our dealer. Hopefully by the time I get some of this other stuff done, uh, they'll be working on the sprayer. What are we doing? We're getting our uh, workbench fixed up. Stay you don't have your sling on. What happened to it? Um, I left it at home. I see a doctor today. Hopefully I'm done with that sling. Hopefully get released from the sling. Yep. Working on the workbench this morning. We're coming out and we're gonna put the rest of the stainless steel top on. This is gonna go here like this. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna need to cut nothing? So Jenner's came out uh, and they noticed before they were going to do this job, they got a fix. Let's see if I can show you here. So there's a piece right here that's all busted. And uh, this side's not. So before they were going to do that job, they got to get the parts for that so they can do it all at once. Here, so this piece is going to go there. So our seam's going to be right in here. So let's put this one. Make sure you get that in. Yeah, you're good. What are you doing in the shop? Uh, 
So I got a new spark plug and a spark plug connector for this. And uh, dad had to run home and get the spark plug wrench for this bike. And hopefully it fires up and runs good. That wasn't the problem. Oh boy. I wasn't too positive that that whole deal was gonna fix it and make it run anyway, but it was worth a shot. And uh, now I'm gonna have to look into it or either call the dealer and see what they think. Well, dad's getting the Ranger out of the shop here. Gonna run over here to where all these millings are at and uh, kill off the grass, and I'm gonna start moving them around. rest of this bench put together it's not fastened yet see there's holes here we'll fasten this down but so it's a total 18 foot that was a 10 foot section this was an eight so this is all done well i guess it's not really done it's on here got to fasten it and slide it up against the wall and then it will be completely done but this is nice i like it so the guys for the sprayer are coming out in a couple of days and they're going to do that first thing in the morning It'll probably take them a few hours to get that done, but I'm gonna finish up putting some more millings around here. Got a spot to put over here. Kind of want to build this up a little bit here because there's a pretty big incline there. I don't know. Just kind of throwing this all around. We do have a very large pile here, and I'm not gonna be able to use it all because it's just so much. But there's a pile of clay over here. And in order to get it in one of these dump trailers we got, it, we need to build like a ramp. So after I get some more rock moved around, I'll make a ramp out of what we've got left here. So I can drive up the skid steer and then be able to dump it into the trailer. So I'm going to move a little bit more gravel around and uh, then I got to go around and mow up some barn lots. So I built up basically, you could call it a tabletop, and you can pull the skid steer up here and uh, see we're a lot higher now, you can dump into that trailer. So you really gotta be careful though, because what you don't wanna do with a full bucket is drive off the end of this thing, because well, I think you'd do a front flip. So I packed it down pretty good, so it's pretty hard and firm. And with the sun beating on this millings, it'll harden it up pretty good. What we got to do now is dad needs to take his greater bucket or not greater bucket his uh greater box he's getting his greater box in here and drive around level this all off after he levels it off with that greater box then i can touch it up finish it up and uh probably throw some three-quarter rock on top of this to make it look nice well i think that's gonna be it for this video I'm gonna go hook up this trailer. I got some mowing to do this afternoon, so not really too exciting to 
film all that stuff so well i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day see you next time